Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video is going to be a continuation of Growing Up with Cerebral Palsy, a series I started the other day. Um, if you have not seen the first video I released, I will put a link to it here up in the upper right hand corner. Um, if you are new here, my name is Roy, and I'm an individual that just happens to have spastic diplegia cerebral palsy. If you look down in the description box below, you'll find some information about me, along with a introduction video, a link to my official Facebook page, as well as a disability and chronic illness support group that I started on Facebook. If you like what you see, I ask that you click the subscribe button, make sure to turn on no notifications, and then give the video a thumbs up or leave a comment. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. This series that I'm working on, Growing Up with Cerebral Palsy, is going to cover the good, the bad, and the very ugly. But today, I just wanted to kind of chat about the surgeries I've had done and what I remember. I've had multiple surgeries growing up, starting with eyes, my stomach, my legs, my ankles. Um, some of them I remember. Some of them, I do not. One thing I remember very well is that they always picked to do my surgeries during the summer. Like, really? In the summertime? Couldn't you pick, like, the winter or something like that? I mean, I know now why they did it. Because they did, didn't want me to miss school. But daggone, it was so hot and so miserable. And... and and kids are outside playing while I'm inside laid up. <laughs> uh, a lot of my surgeries involved being in a cast. And um, even sometimes all the way up to my hip. And I recall they would always tell me like, Now you can't get down and be moving around on this cast. You're going to have to ask for help and, and blah blah blah. Well, not me. Um... Let me tell you, I found a way to get around. So I had figured out how to turn turn myself over and then get myself sli slide down out of a chair or off the couch and then hit the floor. And then I would drag myself across the floor to get where I gotta go. Um, and then I figured out just how much weight I could put on the cast without breaking it or causing any damage. Um, looking back now, I thought, that's crazy how I did that. But, hey, don't tell me I can't do something because I'll figure out a way to do it. <laughs> and it's just who I am, e even today. As a child, one of the last surgeries that I can recall um, was when they were trying to correct the rotation of my ankles and my legs. Um, so my ankles would turn out and um, kind of go all the way behind me pretty much. So they did the surgery to try to correct that. And to do that, they had to break both ankles, both knees, and then reset them. Um, and they put pins in my ankles uh, temporarily. But it was one of the worst, worst surgeries like that, that I can recall. Like, I went in right after school got out for summer and then uh, got out of the cast, um, like I think uh, not even, maybe a week before school uh, started back. But I was in a cast up to my hips, and the I got an infection 
uh, in my ankle. Like, I, the pins or something went crazy. I don't know. But it smelled so bad from the infection. And I'm just like, ugh. No one, no one liked it. I didn't like it. And, uh, you know, and, and it, it was really hot that summer. So, of course, the smell was always worse. Never having a chance to really recover uh, from a surgery uh, before going back to school was always uh, irritating as well. And then they wanted me to use a wheelchair uh, coming back um, to school so I could recover, but my mom really wasn't buying that. Since then, I haven't had any more surgeries. Um, except for a minor one in 2011, um, and that's nothing to, uh, cry home about, if you will. Um, so I've been pretty lucky overall. I mean, and, uh, hopefully I don't have any surgeries anytime soon. During the creation of this video, I forgot to mention, when I was really little, I had a G-tube which is how I received my nutrients. For one reason or another, I was not able to eat normally. I no longer have a G-tube and eat just fine now. You can learn more about G-tubes by reading the information on the screen, courtesy of Google. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, today as part of the Growing Up with Cerebral Palsy series. I hope that you will uh, join me next time for the next video. Uh, just remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Until next time, take care of yourself, stay healthy, and God bless.